presidency of the American Numismatic Association. What is your platform? Well, we need to grow membership. I mean, I'm very excited about the strides that we've taken over the last several years. I've been on the board for almost eight years now, most recently as vice president, which I am now. And this board is a very, very proactive board. I haven't seen one a board even during my father's time when he was on the board that, that's so into growing our membership, keeping our membership and growing it and coming up with innovative, visionary ideas. And I think we need to push forward. If we're going to grow our industry, it's going to be having to do with innovation, making it exciting, coming up with new ideas and programs like I've done over the several years that I've been on the board and even before that. It's just not writing books and magazines, which I've done, but it's also going out outside our industry to bring other collectible pe people interested in collections to our industry, which I find to be the most exciting industry for collectibles and for hobbies that there is. And what is your background that makes you qualified to be president of the ANA? Well, David, as you know, I've practically been preparing for this for 60 years when my father introduced me and my uncle introduced me to numismatics. My commitment and interest has always been there. You know I have a BA degree in numismatics, the first in America and the first doctorate, PhD in numismatics. I just love the field and I love sharing it with people. You know I've written books on numismatics, scores of articles, I've taught seminars. I love to see and share the interests and ideas and history and economics and all the things that are involved in numismatics. So I've been a lecturer, I've been involved, and now I've been eight years on the board of ANA. I'm ready to move that vision and leadership and experience, and I have so many ideas and innovations that I'd love to share with you. And the, and the industry to grow our industry. Don, what are some of the innovations you'd like to put in place? Oh, well, you know about the one where the young couple found coins in their backyard, the Saddle Ridge hoard that we handled. And you have to think outside the box. So how do you sell $10 million of one, over 1,400 different coins? I partnered with Amazon. I, thought about, well, how do we get new people interested? So I convinced Amazon to partner with us and offer a lot of free numismatic books and information along with the coins. And we opened it up to thousands of people. You know, last year I was the number one recruiter for a and &A, And so I think part of that was from that. Another innovation and one of the things that I've been doing for the last several years is to giving out these two cent pieces where I've asked the grassroots membership Please, give, I'm going to give you my two cents, but I want you to give me your two cents. To how do we make a and better? How do we get young people involved? For instance, one of the innovations is to bring numismatic education 24-7 on a handheld device, especially to get young people involved in our industry. And I think that's one of the ways that we get a lot of new people in. I've been working on that for years. I've been getting this as a good feedback from people that, that that's what they want to do. If young people are here, that's where numismatics and a and needs to be. And that's one of, just one of the many innovations that I've come up with that I've been promoting on the board.